In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the email addresses and contact details from a Facebook group. And a lot of people say you can't do this. You can, you can, you can. All the forums are saying um, that's not possible anymore or it's just like Facebook doesn't allow it, you get kicked off. There is a way and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in this video. So stick around. And in the meantime, click the subscribe button and hit the bell button because I'm bringing out videos like this every single week. I'm even bringing out free videos like this every single week. So stick around. And I just want to go in quickly why you'd want to do this. And the first reason is that if there's a Facebook group and there is a Facebook group around an interest and that interest is closely related to your service, then there's a real intent of the people in that Facebook group. For example, maybe they're learning LinkedIn advertising um, and I'm a LinkedIn ad specialist, so if you want me to do LinkedIn ads for you, hit me up. But the point is, if they're, for example, in a LinkedIn ads group on Facebook trying to work out how to do LinkedIn ads, maybe they'll be perfect to go, hey, how about we just hire Phil's company to do that for us? So I might scrape that Facebook group and um, contact them saying, hey, I noticed you're in the Facebook group and um, just wondering if you want to talk to me about LinkedIn ads. I'm a LinkedIn ads pro and I can talk to you about that and then I can sell them that on the phone. So, you know, there are loads of reasons why that might be amazing. Other reasons are they just might be interested in a certain topic. Um, maybe it's fitness and you want to contact them about a fitness product. Whatever it is, Facebook group is a great kind of signal of intent if they're part of a Facebook group. So let's dive in and work out exactly how to do that. So there's a couple tools that you're gonna to have to have in place before you start. And the first one is Phantom Buster. I really, really love Phantom Buster. It's such a cool thing. I'm not an affiliate or anything like that. It's super cool. Um, it does loads of automations around LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, a bunch of different things. I'm not going to go into this in this video. Subscribe though, because I'm going to be actually doing a lot more videos around Phantom Buster, because I love it as a tool. And if you're into automations, Phantom Buster does a lot of this stuff. So first thing we need to do is like sign up to Phantom Buster. And the second tool, and this is not guaranteed, and then let's go through this process, but it, it doesn't always... One of the steps in Phantom Buster doesn't always work. Um, so we're also going to need hunter.io so sign up to hunter.io i have an affiliate link in the description below it helps the channel if you sign up for my link so please do that um but basically hunter.io you can use snov.io or you know a lot you know what's the other one drop contact you could, there's a lot of tools out there that does that do the exact same thing just sign up to one of them i use hunter or snov.io like personally so we're going to need a few different phantoms um to achieve this it's not so clear just having one automation um, I wish there was, you know, it would be cool if there was just one thing you just click and it happens all cleanly, but it doesn't. So here we go. Um, when you get to Phantom Buster, we're going to need a few different phantoms. So um, phantoms are just basically automations and you can link those automations together to create, create sequences where it all happens automatically. So you can have like one automation and a separate automation. But when this one scrapes some data, it automatically feeds into this one, which then, you know, scrapes some other data based from that, the original data, and you create these amazing phantoms and automations, uh, which is really cool. So the first one we need is Facebook Group Extractor. Um, and the second one will be, we're gonna then, once we scrape a Facebook group for the information, we're gonna then um, transform the names into LinkedIn URLs. We're gonna get the Facebook group names, and then we're gonna use a, a scraper to, un and we're gonna find that we're gonna convert the Facebook group's names into LinkedIn profile URLs. Once we have LinkedIn profile URLs, we're gonna scrape the LinkedIn profile URLs with this phantom and get all the information from the personal profiles. And then finally, at this stage, there is an option to get the email addresses. Let's see if it works. But last time I did it, it didn't work. So I had to do an ex extra step, which is once I have all the personal, prof uh, personal profile information, I've got name and the company they work at, I now need the company URL. So I'm gonna take the company name they work at and copy it and then get the company URL from that because it, there's, this one gets the company name and finds the URL. And then the final step is just to have a spreadsheet with the first name, second name, which is now what we have, and the company URL. And once we have that, we can put that spreadsheet and you can get, we have so much other data at this point. We've scraped the Facebook group, we've scraped the profile, personal profile, and we've scraped the company. So we have loads of, we have a bunch of spreadsheets with loads of different information and we can do different things with that data. But generally at this point, all we need first name, last name, and email. And basically we then get the, sorry, first name, last name and company URL. And then hunt.io is going to get us the email addresses. So if you haven't done this already, once you've signed into Phantom Buster, you're going to have to go and um, 
go to your email address and click verify and once you've done that the next step is to install install the Chrome extension so it's going to have this link up here let's install that I've got it already on the other browser let's just do it here for so I can show you how to do that so add to Chrome um, add extension so now you have it and it's as simple as that so let's get started with the first phantom which is the Facebook group extractor so basically go to phantoms all categories and then come down on the sidebar to Facebook and it's gonna be right at the top, Facebook Group Extractor, use this phantom, click on that, and um, right, because we've installed the, um, we've got the extension here of Phantom Buster, we should, if you're logged into Facebook and you're logged into LinkedIn, um, it should all, all work. So connect to Facebook, it gets the right codes, you can click save. So this is just collecting to your Facebook. Click save. Um, then groups to scrape so the thing you need to do actually is use a proxy but i'll get to that in a minute i'm not using a proxy here and i'm going to show you what like the number one question people ask me is why did my phantom not work and you're going to see it's because you're not using a proxy um but let's let's get the facebook groups so i'm going to scrape this group um and i'm going to put the url here save um number of members contacts so let's just get all of them i'm going to leave that blank number of groups to process per launch all of them have empty so i'm just going to get all of them um and what well, remove duplicate profiles between groups yeah why not give name to your results you know you can you should name it for sure i'm going to do a manual because i'm only doing one um this facebook group only has whatever less than a thousand people in it but if you're doing like one with hundreds of thousands and you only can do ten thousand at a time and you want to get all of them which is a lot um, then you can do it repeatedly, you know, every day you can do it or every week. You can you can create the scraper to do it whenever, you know, at whatever interval you want. I'm going to do it manually because I only want to do one scrape. And in case uh, con notifications, only contact me in case of an error. Save. Right, so we're going to now, this is not going to fully work, but it's going to actually get us enough, um, I hope, contacts before Facebook kicks us off. Right, so it did, we did get kicked off, like successful notification network disconnected. If we click on this, um, if we click on this, if you log, then it'll tell us why. Look, it did all this stuff and then disconnected by Facebook exiting and then it recommends using a proxy. So the reason why we actually get kicked off, and this is the number one reason people say, I oh, can't do it anymore, Facebook knows. Just use a proxy and it works. Um, I'm gonna put a link in the description below of like instructions of how to do a proxy. I'm not gonna show you how to do this in this video, but basically you gotta set up your proxy and you gotta sign up some kind of proxy um, service and Phantom Buster recommends it and has a whole tutorial around that. So I'm gonna leave that tutorial to Phantom Buster. Get your proxy and it's gonna work. Um, but basically, if, you, if we download the CSV of what it got so far, which I did, it got me a few names and that's all I want actually for this tutorial for now because I don't want it to take hours and hours and hours um, I just want it to do a few names so I've got whatever however many numbers this is um, oops this is 11 numbers and you know we have the cool thing is we've got the Facebook uh, profile URL of each individual. We've got the name, first name, last name. We've got a picture, uh, the group name, group URL, a bunch of other stuff like it tells us who they are, the co-founder at Huxley Social Marketing, account strategies at, at Taxi. Some really good information here, which is super cool. So we've got that now, but we do not need to um, do anything with that. So now, if you scroll down here, we've if you've done, you know, the whole group, you've got a thousand or more, whatever your group has, up to 10,000, you scroll down, click see compatible phantoms, and we're gonna link them up now. So we're gonna use this phantom, LinkedIn profile URL finder. Use this phantom, and we're gonna, we're gonna click on my phantom, so we don't need a URL, and we're gonna go to the one, you know, the Facebook group extractor phantom. So it's gonna just use that CSV file, which it already has, and you just keep it, keep it in whatever language, it doesn't matter about the name, so save. Just leave this empty, so it's gonna do all of them. Um, the name is that, you can give it a name. 
enable cyber mode warning enabling this option will make the phantom faster yeah i'm up for that i'm okay with that um will consumer execution time fast i don't mind i'm good with it doing fast the better it's manually i'm just going to do them all and notification in case of error so save that and we click launch so once that is done um mine was relatively quick so i only have seven names and it's a full success if you download the csv file just to see what we're getting we now have the linkedin urls of the same people so if you look here you have this you know hugo's facebook url and now we have hugo's um linkedin url which is really cool so that's what we need from that phantom that's all it was because next we're going to go from we're going to scrape their urls to get the company name so if we go down here and go to see compatible phantoms again linkedin so we're going to go to linkedin profile scraper with this actually you can do a lot of different things you can actually um do a linkedin message sender and send a message on linkedin and do an outbound campaign on linkedin which is kind of cool and send them linkedin messages saying hey and you can just do hey i noticed you on in the group in facebook for contact you on linkedin uh, da, 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 da. So you can do an automation message there um, and you can also do a bunch of other things with that. Um, but what we want to do is scrape, we want to do an email campaign, right? I want to get the email addresses and I'll do an outbound email. I much prefer email to LinkedIn outbound every day of the week. So LinkedIn versus, Facebook, LinkedIn versus cold email outbound cold email wins in my books. So use this LinkedIn profile script, but use this phantom. And again, connect to LinkedIn. If you're connected already, logged into your LinkedIn on your browser, it should work. So we click save my phantoms. This time we're doing the LinkedIn profile URL and we're going to turn that into scraping the URL. So save. So here uh, we recommend posting a maximum of 10 profiles per launch in order to keep your account safe. And you can do a maximum of 80 profiles a day or 100 up to 150. So I'd stick to like, a hundred a day you don't really need to do more than that because you don't want to be sending that many emails um simulate linkedin's dwell time so i'm not going to click this but use this option if you follow the 80 profile visits per day but your account keeps getting logged out so if you're finding you're getting logged out or you're getting caught by the capture then yeah definitely use i'll probably just use this it's fine i'm not going to use this for this tutorial because i want to get this done quick but save each profile's picture. So you can use that in, say, for example, you're doing an outbound lem list and you want to use, you know, take a screenshot of their profile picture. Maybe that's useful for you in some way. Or a screenshot of their profile could be useful. A screenshot, you know, full size of their profile. Scrape the profile's interests. I don't need that, but you could find that interesting. The courses, project languages, you can scrape other information. Um, you know, further information, scope problems, licenses. So, you know, maybe you want to scrape those licenses and do an outbound email campaign saying, hey, I noticed you have this, um, you know, enter the certification. So cool, well done. You know, so that adds a personalization of your cold email, for example. Um, so let's just leave all that blank for this. So we want to now name it, let's just leave it as that. You know, just change. Fields to keep, this will create the CSV file with only fields. Okay, cool, save. Um, select email. So this didn't work for me last time. I'd like to um, try it again. So I'm gonna use hunter.io, but if this doesn't work, then we have to get the company. And the reason why it doesn't work is because when you, when you scrape the profile, it gets the company name, but not the company URL. So that's why it didn't work. But basically you need to get your hunter.io API. So if you go to hunter.io, um, you go to your account, I believe it is. Oh no, the API down there. So go down to your API and here's your API key. So you want to, well, what did it ask for? It asked for the API key. Okay, so we have the API key here. Let's copy that and go back here and enter it and save okay so we actually want to do this repeatedly um we're doing 10 remember we told it we're doing 10 at a time and we want to do let's do 80 so we're doing eight times per day 80 i've only got seven in my group i'm just saying if you're doing 80 a day you need to do 10 eight times a day right and notify me in case of error so save 
and now let's launch it. Okay, so that that's done and it works this time. Last time it didn't work. Um, so if you download the CSV, which I have done here, it's actually found five out of seven of the email addresses with hunter.io. So to be honest with you, looking at this now, I really like hunter.io because I actually I was using um, another one before and hunter.io actually is such a good enrichment email you know, um, data enrichment tool it has just such good data. I'm realizing that more and more. I definitely recommend signing up to hunter.io. There is a link in the description below. Um, but using some other tools, Hunter seems to win out more than others. Um, I'll make a video about this and I might do like a big test of all the different ones and see what kind of data I can get. Um, so definitely subscribe, by the way, for more information. But that's it. But let me just say, if that hasn't worked, then the next step, just in case that didn't work, the next thing you'd need to do is just get, you know, um, LinkedIn company info. So starting, I know LinkedIn profile URL, um, where is it? So starting from a list of companies. So yeah, LinkedIn companies info, starting from a list of companies, which is what we have, we will have in this document here, then, um, where is it? Anyway, it's somewhere here then just copy that and sorry just add the phantom and do the same kind of process and it'll find it for you so there you go you've got email addresses linkedin profile urls and loads of other data from a facebook group and we got seven we got something like 75 percent or whatever the maths is on that of the email addresses from the seven only seven profiles but if you get anything over 50 percent, that's awesome so if you found this useful please subscribe hit the bell button and some more videos are going to be popping up so check those out for more cold email and outbound topics and linkedin advertising